Hello everyone and welcome to the best of three stages of the Flaps Lab tournament. I am Patsky and I'm here with ClearDarks. How you doing man? I'm doing good, good. Recovering from a hangover from earlier today. A bit tired. <laughs> but uh, gotta do what you gotta do and you gotta do is uh, watch uh, Coco and Rob duking it out for a spot in Flaps Lab in the best out of three today. Yep. It's gonna That's be awesome. gonna man. open this up. Yep. Long-awaited match, I have to say. A few days at least. Yep. <laughs> well, it's gonna be an awesome match, and let's uh, let's uh, discuss further down uh, the road here and explain to the viewers what is the best out of three and how it's gonna work today. Essentially, best out of three means that um, you play, uh, possibly play three matches, three matches in one match, so to speak. The first pilot to, as you, oh, you know what? Look at the scoreboard. On the scoreboard, there's two big numbers and two small numbers. The big numbers sh uh, are the uh, the current the current match score, and the the little numbers are the score for the total of best of three. So when you win, let's take uh, let's let's assume Yonder Coco now wins Rob for uh, two. He will have two uh, match points on the little number. And that means he's best out of three because he, you know, that's two is the maximum points you can get from a best out of three. So that means Yonder Coco will automatically qualify for Flapstab if he wins this first match. Now, if Rob wins, it will be even 1 1 on the best of one, or the best of three, sorry. And then they will go for another final match up to four. And uh, this is how it's going to go. Now, the, the reason why uh, Yonder Coco has one point advantage is because he comes from the winner's bracket and he has the advantage. Um, because he qualified from the winner's bracket. And this is how it's going to work. So uh, we're going to see the pilots here getting ready. And um, yep. we're going to start it pretty soon. Uh, we got a long night ahead of us and a lot of matches to watch. <sighs> a lot of qualification matches as well. So this is like the, the final, final um, leg of the tournament here. Yeah. Uh, as we fill on the, the rest of the slots left. There's nine spots left. After this match, there's going to be eight. And with every match we go, more slots are going to be taken until we fill this, the, the platoon with 16 members of Lab Slab and uh, get this show on the road. So uh, let's uh, introduce the pilotes. Huh? Let's do that. Do you want to start with someone or how do you, you start feel? with someone? Okay, I will start with Lieutenant Rob then. Uh -huh. Our, my, our close friend, he's been, uh, he's a member and, uh, or actually it's staff in the uh, Flaps Lab already. Uh, he's working with us, helping us update uh, the VODs and uh, so on. Very awesome pilot, coming from the uh, the losers bracket. I don't know, man. He's from Austria. He's uh, he's a great guy in general, a great pilot. Plays with his head, so um, he's gonna give you on the coke a good match here. I think. He's gonna even out the first one and give us a uh, an entertaining show at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yep, gonna it's, be awesome. It's definitely gonna be a good match. And uh, Yonder Koko from Japan is up against Rob here. Yonder Koko, one of the greatest pilots we've got to see in this tournament, uh, had a beautiful uh, group stage with uh, uh, all wins, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Nine points out of nine points. Yep. Uh, with a great display of skill, uh, beating uh, big names like Techno Marine and uh, and, uh, and uh, Raptor and uh, Hellseeks and all those uh, people. And uh, seems to be throwing a good match here. Uh, I actually had a chance to to dogfight with those two individuals in the past couple of days. I dogfight Yonde Coco yes, uh, yes, <laughs> last night, and I dogfighted Rob today. And to be honest, I don't know who's gonna win. Both of them are very very good. Both yeah. of them got very tight control of the plane. Both of them managed to kill me. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see how it's gonna work. And um, Let's ask if the pilots are ready. Yep, they're both awesome pilots. Otherwise, they shouldn't be here. So, uh, or they wouldn't be here even. So, um, we're up for a good fight. All right. So, pilots are ready. We're gonna launch this straight away. To let me tell you that it looks good. Yonikoko versus Rob qualification match. Best out of three. The first best out of three match. Here we go. And uh, pilots are coming towards the center now. And this is gonna be an exciting match. And who? Uh, Horizontal start by both pilots. Rob goes from the top down. Actually, we'll see Yonder Coco here. Put some shots into Yonder Coco. I don't know if they registered. They do not register. Nope. Rob cuts from below. Yonder now seems to have a slight advantage on Rob. And uh, 
even though it looks rather even, uh, it's a slight advantage for Yonde Coco in his angles here. And uh, Rob is closing it down, cutting in into Yonde Coco's turns. And both of them are flying a perfect uh, circle, so to speak. Slight advantage to Yonde Coco. Rob makes a switch. Rob. And that's going to cost him position. Yonde Coco is right behind him, put some shots into Rob. Rob takes 80. Yonder Coco position. goes down. Rob will come Ooh, from the top here. He does not see that switch. Rob will go for that switch and will put some shots into him. Put some shots into Yonder Coco. Yonder Coco takes about 11% damage. And great switch by Rob. And a great response by Yonder Coco. Look at that. Both the pilots are resetting the fight all the time. Great performance by both of them. And both of them managed to, to be on each other's ass and then reset the fight, which is just shows you how great those pilots are. And now Rob continues with his chase and he seems to have the slight advantage here in the angles. Chasing around Yonder Coco. Yonder Coco is a tough nut to crack. Won't give in so easily. No, he will he not. Turning around. And uh, now Rob manages to get behind the Yondekoko again. But the Yondekoko immediately responds and tries to get the distance. It doesn't work for him that good now. Looks like Rob actually closes more angles. Yep, Rob is closing more, here, more so, angles. Uh, he's closing he closes in. And and he closes them and loses them when going up. As you can see here, yep, lost them. And now yeah. he gains them going down. Uh, and go up, and he loses the angles, and now Yonder Coco uh, will continue like this until he gets a uh, timing for a good switch or something to surprise Rob. Get him off. But I do not know if Yonder can make it here. Rob is on him pretty good now. We're going to see some shots pretty soon here. The cuts by Rob are amazing, and the switch by Yonder Coco. Great spiral up. A good Rob response will follow by Rob, it. It, it, Yep, Rob will follow. Sees Yonder Coco now, goes up and to the left, goes right behind him in the diagonal to the left. Try to follow Yonder Coco around. Still not enough uh, angles for shots, but uh, Rob has got a firm position here on Yonder Coco. Yonder Coco is a um, very strong pilot, and Rob goes from the top, and it goes bottom. And, uh, it looks like Yonder Coco actually uh, gained some, gets, some distance here. Yeah, get some separation. And, and a switch by Yonder Coco. Rob responds late to that switch, and the. Uh, yep. Loses. And Coco yeah. now seems to have the upper hand. No, it seems like Rob still got the upper hand or a complete even fight. Not really sure what's going on. Looks like a slight advantage to Rob, I think. Not by much, though. Not really. I agree with that. And now Rob, Coco makes a horizontal turn. Wanted to go down and change his mind in the last second. Rob goes from the top down. Beautiful cut by Rob from the upper uh, turn. And uh, no damage. Yet on Yonder Coco, Yonder Coco has given Rob a run for his money here. And I have no clue who's going to win this, dude. Uh, it's, this it's very even. Has, very good. This is potential. Yeah. Just so you know, guys, if the, since those matches have potential to be dragged out for a long time, whatever we do not, uh, the matches we do not fill in here, we will do them on the next streaming day that we'll schedule. And now Rob goes down, Yonder Coco, we'll see from the top. And the rough fight is completely reset now. Slight advantage for Yonder Coco comes from the top down on Rob. And I think John DeCoco has got the upper hand now. Looks, Looks like, like it, yes. Yeah, we're going to see shots here any second if he keeps and this a up. beautiful cut from the left by John DeCoco. Put some shots into Rob. Rob takes the damage. 82% left on Rob's plane. John DeCoco again from the top down. Sees the horizontal break to the right. It's going to be disabled here. And yep. yes, it is. John DeCoco puts the first point into Rob. And Rob loses the first uh, point. And this is 1-0 for John DeCoco in a beautiful uh, twisty match. Beautiful match indeed. Yonder Coco in a disadvantage from the start. Pretty much the entire fight manages to turn it around in the end. Very fast. Yep, and a beautiful fight by Coco. Coco, like I said, man, I, I fought both pilots today and both of them are very good. I do, I do not know how can each and one get the certain clear advantage. But uh, let's uh, jump right into round number two. Here we go. Rob is taking off. Rob is taking off, and Yonekoko is coming up, and uh, oh my god, if Yonekoko wins this, he's the uh, third Asian, or fourth Asian to qualify to Flop 7, the third Japanese. Yep. Japan representing, Lord Yonekoko takes some uh, hits by Rob. Rob is, oh, and he does not see that switch, and Rob is in trouble again. After the offense, wow. he does not see Yonekoko switch, and Yonekoko is right behind him, he's going to regenerate health while chasing him, and this is just shows you how great of a position Yonekoko is in now. There's no, nothing to worry about the damage he took as he regenerates his health and right behind Rob and Rob is in deep trouble now. Yonder Coco will try to put the uh, the hurt here. We'll see how it's going to go. I see some nice cuts by Yonder Coco here. Amazing cuts by Yonder Coco and Lieutenant Rob is... Uh, in trouble, but he's... Yeah, 
He's maintaining speed though, so um Yon de Coco is not, so Rob is actually getting away here. Does not seem like that to me. It seems like Yon de Coco is cutting every angle here from the right now. And we'll have some shots here soon. Yeah, here's wow. the shots and oh sixty-five percent left on Rob. Yon de Coco sees that switch and responds with the vertical turn which will help him close the angles a little bit here in a horizontal cut by Yon de Coco. Now Rob does not even respond to that. And Yon de Coco right back into position to chase Rob now. And uh, as Rob regenerates his health, Yon de Coco will continue to fight and continue to press for the attack here. And Rob is still not out of uh, danger's uh, hands. A switch and by switch Rob. Yeah, Rob, Yon de Coco follows beautifully, cuts the angles from, uh, from the right, it looked like. And he will have position here on Rob. Pretty soon, Rob cuts into Yone Coco, makes a spiral. Coco does not know how to respond. He does know how to respond. Someone beautifully responds. And another beautiful response by Coco. Just, uh, how do you, gating Rob. He's just <laughs> gating him. Like, you know, every time yeah. Rob makes a, a, a move, he just gates it. Forward it out and uh, gets the advantage out of it. And uh, that's, a, that's a nice uh, display of skills by uh, Yone Coco. Yone Coco yeah. does not let Rob get the advantage. See a cut attempt here by Yonde Coco, and it actually succeeds a bit. Yeah, Yonde Coco Getting closer seems to have and closer. A advantage here. Rob is trying to get away, but Yonde Coco is not letting go of the gas pedal. Just pressing the attack, does not let go. Waits for Rob to do a mistake. We'll make a switch to close the angles. Here comes the switch. Yonde Coco will see that, and who caught the the switch too? Oh, we're gonna have some shots here very soon if Rob does not do anything. And the shots will come right. Now, if I guess, no, a cut by Rob will prevent it, and Yonde Coco follows it, but uh, the shots will have to wait. Maybe a few loops from now. No, since like Rob is evening out the angles, does not let go that easily. And Yonde Coco responded kind of late to that switch there by Rob, and gained Rob some distance, so... Uh, but it looks like Yonde Coco immediately Coco takes it back by cuts. Again. Yeah. It looks like Rob is setting himself up for a position where he allows his enemy to cut him, and, and he doesn't respond enough to it. And Coco is now in a dangerous position, almost some shots, and a cut from the right by Yonde Coco, horizontal right, Rob does not see that, follows the smoke now, and it's a bad decision by Rob, Rob goes down, Yonde Coco is going to follow right through, and Yonde Coco is... Strong display by Yonde Coco, man. Very strong display by Yonde Coco. He is one a of the greatest by Rob. around. Yonde Coco sees that smoke a bit late, but still manages to... Uh, to cut his way through it, and Rob goes down, and this is a mistake again. John the Coco will cut him right through here and get some shots right. off soon. Rob immediately engages with the shallow turns with the right rudder. Let's see if it's gonna work. It's a left rudder now, and a right. He changes it all the time. Yeah, it's very confusing, if you, especially if you don't see him. He's all over the place on the radar. And Rob does not let it go now. Manages to uh, to slip away from a kill here. And the yeah. Coco is right behind him and doesn't let go. Once that win, once this fight, doesn't want to make it too long, too complicated. Just get in and get it over with. And uh, he has the potential to do it right now. Here we go. Rob uh, is uh, giving away some angles here. Yonde Coco will catch up. Uh, catch up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I think sorry. I'm hungover. <laughs> Rob really needs to start switching a lot, I think. Because in this... And a switch by Rob, and uh, he listens to you, but he gets some damage from yeah. Yonde Coco. Yonde Coco has got a sick aim. I do not know if you know that, but he's got a great aim. And Rob is in deep shit now. Yonde Coco angles looks even closer now. And I think that Rob will lose this uh, fight because there's absolutely... Yonde Coco can cut everything here. And, and a Dylan, Dylan by Rob! And what the fuck was that? Beautiful Dylan by Rob. Ayon de Coco responds with his own, gets up Ayon to the Coco sky is in a thousand stalling, meters. And this will be the kill here for Rob. Wow. Not, yeah, it is. And you know, Rob gets the 1-1. One, one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> While floating in the air. Okay, well, yes, that's interesting. One, one. Yep. <laughs> nice one, Rob. And this is 1-1. One, one. Rob uh, manages to flip it around. Being still stuck in the sky there. But that's 1-1. Uh, one, one. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that was intentional by Rob, that's a master plan right there. <laughs> and this fight to do to me. Yeah. It seems like Yonde was going to climb out of that uh, Dylan in a good position. Looked like it, yeah. But he, he got tangled up in the ceiling. And now we are ready for round number three. Lieutenant Rob. 
the surprising kill here, being in the defense all around. Loses it to Yonder Coco. And then uh, Yonder Coco just uh, stalls up and Rob kills him from the sky. It's, uh, that works. That's part of the game. And here we go, round number one. Uh, three. <laughs> Vertical. Yes. Horizontal start by both pilots in a great position for Yonder Coco from the start. Putting Shamed on shots. Yonder goes pilots. down. Rob. We'll see that from the top. He and should be able to. Yeah, he's diving on Yonder Coco now. A bit too late. Registers. Yeah. Uh, no hits here. Now he registers some hits. 87% left on Yonder Coco playing, but Yonder Coco is cutting into Rob's turns like a boss. Prevents the shots. And uh, now Rob's time to chase around and let's see what Yonder, Yonder Coco can do uh, in defense against Rob chasing. We saw in the first fight that uh, Yonder Coco could flip it around on a whim. Yeah, let's see if he can do it again. It looks like he's even in out and Rob makes by Rob. Out. This is going to cost him. Yonder Coco is going to see the smoke and actually respond with a cut. Beautiful uh, move by Yonder Coco. Not, still not enough uh, timing, but uh, gets the angles uh, cut. And, uh, Looks though like Rob is in the uh, in the lead here. Yeah, Rob is definitely the advantage here. Chasing around and a switch by Rob. Yonder Coco will sees the smoke, follows the smoke, late, and late. Rob goes Rob down. Yonder Coco sees that as well. Does not see it, but guesses it. And a beautiful cut by Yonder Coco. Flips it around on a whim again immediately. What a mistake by Rob. And now Yonder Coco is on the chase again. Rob with a, with a bad mistake here. A switch that was executed very poorly. Loses the position. And now Yonder Coco will chase around. And Yonder Coco has got a good position here. And I think he's pissed because of the last kill. I would have been pissed. Yeah, man. Me too. But it's alright and dandy. And now Yonder Coco putting some such into Rob. 87, Actually 82 percent left for Rob. Yonder wow. Coco sees that switch. Will follow from the top. Close to a stall altitude, but not quite there yet. Has a lot of pressure. Sees a Rob smoke. Cuts right into him. And Yonder Coco makes it. Oh, beautiful cut by Yonder Coco. Rob makes a switch up. Yonder Coco is in a perfect position to put some shots. Oh, and, and a crush. <laughs> Both of them with 49% 40, left. And that's a rego of this match. <laughs> wow. And Yonder Coco and Rob maintain oh. their, uh, their score now. 1 1 and Rico in round number 3. And you have to change the date on the fucking stream portal, you noob. I have. You need to press F5, dude. I did it after. And again, I failed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's go for round number 3 again. Yep, that was a nice attempt by on the Coco that horizontal cut right there. But uh, I don't know if 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 that was Rob switching at the same time that uh, caused it to to end in a crash. But it's definitely a good attempt. We do not know. We do not know. We do not know. Both pilots are ready. And Arigo round number three is commencing here on Caspian border. Flapstep tournament day number fourteen. The deciding uh, stages are being live streamed to you, to your desktop or your laptop or your iPhone if you're uh, you, viewing us through a Twitch iPhone or Android app. Yonder Coco, horizontal start. Rob tries to cut from the, from the top, does not see Yonder Coco's position. And Yonder Coco has a, uh, some sort of a equation here. Like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I have a lot of things running through my head, but don't know how to put them into words. <laughs> so it's all right. But Yonder Coco with a lot of pressure into Rob and again in the chase position. Slight advantage for Yonder Coco. He makes a, he turns before Rob turns. From what we can see here, and Rob is in position to lose again. And Yonder will close and a switch by Rob. Yonder Coco will see the smoke follow right into. It. No, does not follow. And Rob now, immediately gains position, position here. Yep. I thought Yonder Coco was gonna follow. Beautiful angle play by Rob. Rob now has a very good position. Put some shots into Yonder Coco. 43% left on Yonder Coco. More shots by Rob. 36%. 1% left on Yonder Coco. This is going to be a kill for Rob if uh, Yonder doesn't do anything and has a disable. No! That it didn't does not hit. It didn't hit. And this That's does not hit either. He wow. He just hit 100%. And Yonder is now regenerating his health. Yep. Yonder is regenerating his health and gets out of this hairy situation. More. But there's the disable. disable. And Rob wow. makes a kill. On Yonder Coco and that's 2-1. to one. Uh, For Rob with a beautiful display of skill here by uh, Rob, man. This is a good comeback for him. A good comeback indeed. That was a nice uh, play by Rob. Absolutely. No, it, it looks like the uh, 
way yeah. to go before he can qualify into Flap 7. If he wins this, he's got another match like this to go. Yeah, it's a very long way, but uh, I, I bet he's committed, so uh, he's not going to give up easily. Of course not. It's Rob we're talking about. Yeah, one of the dedicated uh, pilots. He really, really wants to be in Flap Slab, so I think the, the, the his, his wish to be there yeah. is stronger than anything else right now. He wants to win. And the more those pilots fly, one of them will develop a, a way to figure out the, the, the other one. Yep, it looks like their uh, their starts are, are very similar. Oh, number four, here we go. Another horizontal start by both pilots uh, turning to the left. Both of them Rob put some head-on shots into Yonekoko, 77%. Yonekoko is above Rob, tries to predict the turn, does not manage to Rob with ECM. Follows into Yonekoko and both of them are crossing each other. It seems like a slight advantage to Yonekoko here. Yeah, he'll deploy ECM, he'll confuse the shit out of Rob. Does not deploy this him, reads the radar and looks like he follows now. And there we go, both ETM. Well, the ECM radar is blank for both pilots now, and this is gonna be a bit of a problem to maneuver. And here we go, Yonde Coco with a great position. Again from the start. Not yeah. a great position, but a slight good advantage for, for Yonde Coco, yeah. It flips on the radar before Rob does, so uh, uh, up, let's see if Rob is gonna catch that. Rob does not catch that! He does late. Very Yonde late, Coco but loses that to secure the angles, and we're gonna see some shots here. Uh, Rob is breaking away with all his might and power, and uh, now Yonde Coco is responding too late. Rob manages to reset the fight with that switch. Don't know why Yonde Coco decided to go up there, but... Uh... Shots by Rob, 8% off of Yonde Coco's plane. Rob is putting a lot of pressure now. And a switch by Yonde Coco, Rob goes up, and this is gonna work against him, because Yonde is gonna come up with it first. And both of them are trading head-on shots, dropping down and... Rob goes up first, Yonde Coco follows and this yeah, will be... Yeah, cuts from the top! Yeah, now Rob is going to drop down, Yonde Coco is going to see that and follow right into it and Rob is going to change direction to the right. Probably, Yonde will have to catch that and Yonde is now again in position. Wow, the position switches all the time here. Yonde Coco puts the strain into Rob, Rob makes a switch! And, and so Yonde does Coco. Yondo. Yonde Coco. I do not know It's going to be a head-on pass again here. Ooh, and both of them trade shots. I see hits, but none registered. Weird. And ooh, what a weird turn by Yonde Coco. Rob is going to be in a great position if Rob... No, he does not see it. And uh, both pilots are dead even. And ooh, Yonde Coco cuts from the horizontal into Rob. And Yonde Coco again with it. Wow, Yonde Coco has got some good good moves, dude. He just cuts Rob like a boss. Yeah, dude. Now he's in position. We're going to see some shots pretty soon here, unless Rob does something. And here's a switch by Rob. And the Coco is too slow to switch, but manages to eventually maintain his uh, slight position here. Slight position, yeah. And uh, I don't know, man. It, it's still kind of even. It flips all the time. So uh, I think it's going to come down to one or, or two bad moves by, by any pilot. So Another switch by Rob. Another follow up by Yonder Coco. Yonder Coco is yeah. not letting go. And we saw the first kill by Yonder Coco was just and like this. Yeah, switch down by Rob. This is gonna work against and him. Shots into Rob does not hit. Rob is climbing up. Yonde Coco. Good switch by Rob. Yonde Coco actually manages to keep up with that, but loses the advantage he had. And a vertical cut by uh, Yonde Coco again into Rob. Beautiful cut, man. He's cutting Gives really good. Gives him insta yeah. position. Yeah. And Rob is now making a switch. Yonde Coco will follow. Predict the exit the route of Rob. Predicts it right, and he's in position now. And again, every time uh, Yonde Coco gets close, Rob is throwing it around. Good cut but again by Yonde Coco. How much he can do that with uh, with Rob in a switch already. Oh, a great response Rob. by Yonde Coco. Yeah, but they're climbing up to the stall areas now. Yeah. And another great response. Rob is in deep trouble now. Yonde Coco. Oh, we're going to see some shots here pretty soon. The we should be off. seeing. Yeah, another switch. Over. And another great response by Yonde Coco. Follows the smoke precisely. We'll get the angles here. We're just about to see a shot. Yeah, there's a shot. And there's a disabled. Yes, there's a disabled. Yonder Coco gets the second kill in 2 2. Rob versus Yonder Coco. Very the even. It's getting interesting. Now we're talking. I mean, Yonder Coco and his response times on those switches, they were really Amazing. fast, I have to say, man. Great, great responses. And it's 2 2. Yonder Coco versus Rob. In the qualification match, and you keep having that text on the fact status page. It's yeah, I know. It's what annoying. is it? And now the it's it's Firefox. I'm sorry. 
Some tooltip shit. That pops up. <laughs> Breathe. Goose far. Goose fraba. Goose far. Alright, here we go. Okay, here we round go. number five. <laughs> round number is five, and Yonde Coco This is Robin. Ooh, an interesting start by Robin. Vertical start. Yonde Coco sees that. And, ooh, head on shots. Yonde Coco takes 54% damage left on Yonde Coco, but a great cut by Yonde Coco into that. Put some shots into Rob. They do not register. He's regenerating his health now. Or will regenerate his health. Head on passes. Ooh, more shots. More shots and prevents the wow. regeneration. 49%. Yonde Coco has got some damage, but look at that! He flips it around with the beautiful horizontal cuts. Man, he's he's just schooling Robin in terms of the horizontal cuts here. And it's Cutting so hard. To Good watch. switch by Rob, though. But Yonde Coco immediately Res responds. Oh, wow! Look at he waits to see which which path he will take. He does not respond immediately. What he does, he waits waits for Rob to pick an exit direction and just predicts a turn slight angles uh, ahead of it, and then gets to keep the angles. I used to I used to do that too sometimes. When I feel comfortable and not stressed and live stream in front of uh, 80, 60, whatever, how many people we got here. But uh, yeah, and uh, Yonde Coco with a great, great position here to put another uh, kill into Rob. Works uh, greatly on his angles. And you know what? Rob is in trouble. Rob is in trouble indeed. And uh, as he gets even further into trouble, his nerves are going to go nuts. And uh, it's going to be problematic, I have to say. And a switch by Rob. And the Coco with a beautiful prediction and getting some angle shots. Wow. Uh, and Rob with a spiral. And oh my god, Yonde Coco with a great response with his own spiral. And Rob with another spiral. Yonde Coco does not let go. He sees him in the cockpit now. There is very little Rob can do. Yonde Coco speed fails a little bit here. We saw that speed fail. I did not, I did not even see the telemetry data for it. I just saw a speed fail. And a shot by Yonde Coco into Rob. Rob takes 11% damage. And continues to follow. Rob is trying everything he knows in the book, and the switch is like a boss, but it doesn't help. And well, maybe this one helps. No, Yonde Coco maintains his position. Rob does follow the smoke. I do not know, but looks like Yonde Coco has got the position. Wow. He does. I, I think Rob gains a little bit of distance there, but a cut by Yonde Coco, and Rob switches at the same time. It's going to result in a head-on pass almost. Yeah, it does. Yep, and Yonde Coco puts 6% uh, damage into Rob. And, and now Rob a bad switch by Yonde Coco, and this going to be a hard <laughs> head-on pass. Oh, and 70% damage. And oh, beautiful horizontal switch by Yonde Coco. Rob is going to come from the top down. He will see that, and Yonde Coco takes some more damage, 47%. Oh my god, he's very, very close to being disabled. I don't know how Yonde is going to respond. Yonde puts some shots back into Rob, 92% left. Both pilots are fighting and struggling, putting, you know, throwing, uh, trading punches. Yeah. Like a bunch of bosses, man. Head on passes. Very aggressive indeed. And Yonde Coco with a switch downstairs. Rob does see that too late and responds wow. too late. Yonde Coco sees that uh, drop by Rob to the lower grounds and follows immediately. But uh, slightly fails here with the speed. And oh, and a switch by Yonde Coco. Not really sure. It looks like it. And Rob is in a great position. Rob actually, yeah. But instead of speed Coco fail, I don't know. Out. Yeah. yeah. It's not a speed fail, it's a better speed management by Yonde Coco, apparently, because uh, he just evens out the, the angles. And Yonde Coco with a beautiful... What the fuck did you see that cut? I could draw that right into the sky. He cuts into Rob's uh, switch turn. Beautiful response by Yonde Coco. Wow. That, that was awesome, dude. Let me teach you in school, man. If you have to cut... If you have to go to school and you have a two-kilometer road and you have a one-kilometer shortcut, you take it. And that's what Yonde Coco did. <laughs> and now, in a great position behind Rob... Again, not great position. I just like to, uh, to use the word great, but uh, it's great. Right. And another switch by Robin. Yonder Coco sees the smoke very late, but oh, still manages to. Wow. Yonder Coco now. It's a bit of trouble. Mangles, yep. Yeah. And they're so far out, I cannot really see what's going on. It seems like Rob has got the slight advantage, but it's only a matter of time until Yonde will uh, pull one of his uh, horizontal uh, shenanigans and uh, just uh, break that. So we'll see what happening. Uh, Sabrin. Yes, the fight continues. Rob is now in a firm position behind the Coco. Doesn't really look like Rob is cutting that much. Nope, he's playing it safe, waiting for the mistake. Yeah. Waiting for uh, the Coco's to switch. And the Coco, if he relies on his speed, he will take Rob. He might. And Yonde Coco, now here we go, the diagonal cuts. And the Coco, look at that. Look at so fast. He turns so fast. With such a grace, such a altering the roll rates all the time, 
every single second of the fight, he just alters the roll rates to great uh, to gain a better uh, offset. Yeah. Uh, uh, from Rob to get cut the angles. In. Uh... It's beautiful to see. Not not many pilots does that. I have to say. Oh nope. And now uh, Rob. And a switch by Rob. Yonder sees the smoke and follows. Ow! And cuts from the top. We'll have a slight advantage here over Rob, and I think Yonder Coco is feeling very comfortable with his abilities now. And his uh, uh, oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at the diagonal cut by Yonder Coco on the vertical, on the uh, sorry, the vertical uh, turn by Rob. Wow! Closes some angles here, and we are definitely going to see a few shots. And if if what he does, he cuts another the one. Another one. Yep. Rob responds immediately on that one because he didn't have ECM running. Yonder will see that and follow through. Closes the angles immediately. Cut again diagonally on Rob. <laughs> and Rob and switches. Yonder Coco will follow and actually try to get in position behind. Gets the position. Slight advantage for Yonder Coco. Again, maintains his position. It's very hard to escape from him. And I tried last night. Yeah, it is. It Ended is. up in chaos. And a good response by Yonder Coco again. Beautiful cuts by this guy, man. Yonder Coco is a great pilot. And put some shots into Rob. No hits, though. Switch. By Rob. Rob is uh, taking a risk here, going up to the higher skies. Yonder Coco is uh, following him. And uh, who's going to stall first? Who's going to make, uh, make a first Dylan? We saw Rob uh, pull a Dylan before. Yeah. Very, I don't know if I've like ever seen Rob do a Dylan move before. That was the first never? time, I think. <laughs> ever, ever seen him do a Dylan. But uh, you know what? It's, 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 uh, everyone knows it's a well. Uh, viable tactical move in the, the highest levels of competition we see a lot of great pilots use it to, to great success yeah and it's out of a hairy situations and uh, Yonder Coco cuts every corner by Rob man this is beautiful every loop he cuts he very nice it. and now Rob turns down Yonder Coco got the position put some shots 87 Switch. what a prediction turned by Yonder Coco what the fuck <laughs> Yonder Coco and this is gonna be some shots here and if not disabled, disabled. 69 55% to Rob Rob is in deep shit. Yonder Coco has to make something what? out of this. Very close to a kill here. And uh, one and match. A horizontal point. switch by Yonder Coco. Look at that. Will it work for him? It works for him. Yeah, he puts some shots. But don't register. No. The Coco goes up. Rob goes down. And again, another head up. Yonder Coco puts some more shots now. 83%. Stops the re Coco. regeneration just a bit. Yep, Yonder Coco. It looks like they evened out the odds here. Pit the advantage for Rob out of all this uh, switch and shoot. But Yonder Coco closes the angles immediately in a switch by Rob downstairs. Yonder Coco will follow. Counteract with it. Goes down. Continues with the spiral down, maybe. It's a good idea for him. Even out. Head on pass. Pilots on. Ooh! They hit each other. 56%. Left for Rob. Yonder Coco's got 60%. And another few shots. 49%. This is going to be a fight for the life here. Oh, and a mistake by Robbie goes down, and the Coco will follow him. If he manages to put a shot in him, he's going to stop the regeneration and get the kill. He doesn't Not get the shot, though. Oof, what a fight. What a fight. Yonder Coco puts a lot of stress into Rob. Both and go oh, down with ECM. Those. Head on passes again. And look at that X in the sky. They're crossing each other's paths. But Rob goes yeah. down first, and Yonder Coco will come down right on top of Rob here. Yeah. Gets the position immediately. That's why it's always bad to go down first in, in, in such situations. I discovered that it's also bad to go up first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends. <laughs> it's just bad to change the plane of motion first. Yeah. And uh, uh, Rob throws everything he knows in the book and just does not manage to shake Yonder Coco off. Yonder Coco is showing us some great display of skill here with great prediction turns, great chasing skills. And most of all, look at his cutting, man. I mean, I fought him last night, and I did not see him from the outside. It was very tif difficult to fight him. Yeah. But now that I see what he does, holy crap, Adilio, man. Yeah, he's got some great prediction moves. And Rob makes a switch on the Coco with a beautiful, oh my god, gating the switch again. What the fuck was that? As if he didn't need to do anything, and Rob switches more and more. and uh, More shots by on the Coco, and Rob is in trouble now. Yep, Rob is in deep trouble, and the Coco, again, we're going to see some shots here. Yeah, here's the shots, and we're going to probably see a disable yeah, here. Yeah, that's a disable. Yep. It's a disable, and wow. Rob is disabled, and a possible match point for Yonder Coco to qualify into Flap Slap. This is 3-2 for Yonder Coco, and uh, 
holy shit, this is it, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This will determine who is going to be the next and eighth position in the Flap Slab uh, platoon. Both of those pilots deserve a spot, if you ask me. Yeah, it's I have to agree. We're, it's too bad we're not going to see one of them in the Flap Slab. But, uh... That's how it is. Element. Yep. And, uh, here we go. Round number six. Round number six, yes. And a possible six. match point for Yonde Coco. If he takes this home, he will be in Flab Slab. Yep, and Rob has a long way to go. Let's switch by... Rob will get him in oh, a good position well, on, great on position Yonde Coco. Well, let's start. Yeah. I don't really know if it was intentional or not. Oh, and Yonde Coco gets some shots, 70% off. And Yonde Coco responds immediately. More shots by Rob, 55%. And this is going to be a great, great, great... Decision. Oh my god, and the switch by Yonde Coco. Rob does not see that. Yonde Coco is now in a great position to switch it around. <sighs> Yonde Coco with a beautiful flip a -roo. Look at that. It's now behind Rob again. Put some shots into Rob. Wow. Oh, 6%. And look at the prediction turn. Oh my god. <laughs> it didn't work, but oh my god. Whoa. What it was so close of working, dude. Rob saw that in the last second yeah. and responded to it. Very well done by Rob. That would that would have killed him. Yon de Coco has got a huge sack of balls filled with a lot of them because that was a ballsy movement. Wow. Yeah, if that would have worked. Wow. Very hard to catch, but it's uh, just, oh, I get the, the, the I gotta kill myself, man. Keep out the action. Let me know what's going on. Who's on the move? Well, John Coco is actually gaining more and more positions, uh, more and more angles for every turn here, and uh, Rob is in deep trouble right now. John Coco, Rob switches up. John Coco follows again, a bit late, oh, but that. still manages to follow. And Rob, what can he do against John Coco right now? Oh, absolutely zilch! Uh, more shots by John Coco. Wow! Thirty-six percent, one percent from disable. Oh my god, this is gonna be the end of Rob. We do not know yet. It looks like it will be. And there's the end, end of Rob. Rob. Wow. That was unexpected, man. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Yonder Coco makes it to Flab Slab. Yonder Coco is the eighth qualifier into Flab Slab. And Lieutenant Rob has been eliminated from the tournament. Wow. I am stunned, man. I'm too. I am too. <laughs> Let's shake it up real quick. We got another match coming up. Um, yep. We've got a tight schedule here, so uh, we're gonna take a small break, get the next.